going on YouTube? It's your boy Chaz Custom Custom Model Cars coming at you guys with an exciting model kit review on the uh, Polar Lights Nelson Carter's Super Chief Charger Funny Car 125th scale. Uh, pretty awesome kit. Um, it was brand new, but you know I have to review everything. So and I have to smell the styrene, the good old smell of brand new styrene. So I reviewed a lot of things in this kit, and there's a few things that I didn't like, and there's a few things that could have been molded right, but. Overall, I'm very excited about this kit because it is my first Polar Lights kit and it is my first funny car kit. I've never built a funny car before, so this is kind of a dream come true. So I'll be able to do this. Now, I don't know how much this kit is, what it, what it goes for. You guys can Google search it all you want and look around. Because um, I won this at, at the model contest back in September for my 65 Chevelle Gasser. So um, I was pretty stoked about it. So it was very unexpected, but I was very stoked at the same time because... I've always wanted to build a funny car. So, but um, again, after reviewing a lot of the stuff in this kit, I on the scale of one through ten, I was gonna give it an eight, but I'm gonna give it an even six. I'm not gonna give it a low six or a high six, just an even six, because um, this this has a potential of being a much better kit, much better molded kit. So, with a few things updated. Now, as box art goes, very beautiful box art, by the way. I guess this guy's a legend. I don't know too much about funny cars and stuff, but I guess this guy's a legend. Um, and on this side, you have your information and and everything here, what the car includes. So you can pause the video if you want, or you can wait until the slideshow before we get into the um, the contents. So, which there'll be pictures after I open up the box and share with you guys everything. So, and then here we have the car in action, which is pretty cool. And then you have your box art on this side. And then you have your box art on this side. If my cardboard would just stop moving around. <laughs> there we go. And then on the back you have your parts overview, which also has your warnings and other stuff going on here. But you got your parts overview, what's involved in this model kit itself. So without further ado, let's go ahead and crack this puppy open and share with you guys what's in this box. Here's your body, of course, the Charger Funny Car body. Not sure the year this Charger is based on, but it's pretty nice overall. A little too thick on for you know for my taste, but you know it is what it is. So here you have your clear um, parts. Of course, I opened up all the bags. Uh, your clear parts. Here's um, the first bag of your um, uh, white molded parts. Here's bag number two of your white molded parts. Your tires or your rubber stuff here. And they are um, stamped. So then you have your bag of chrome, which is, includes two. Uh, you have paper separating the two, so which is pretty nice. And of course, you have your um, your um, what is this thing? Uh, round two models um, reply mail. And of course, my cat Miko made lunch out of it, as you could see. So, here's a little pamphlet of all the model kits that's available and all of that stuff through Round 2 Models. So, of course, you can go on their uh, website, round2models.com, and check it all out, or visit their blog at www.collectormodel.com. And, of course, you have their decals, and you have their instructions here. Nothing else in the box. So, the instructions is very nice, very simple. Uh, there's not a lot of pages to this. There's a lot to build, but there's not a lot of pages. So it gives you a little bit of insight here if my camera can focus. There we go. Um, here's the buildup of the engine. And then more stuff here. They give you uh, chassis notes uh, and the body notes, I guess, pointers on how to assemble, I guess, and stuff like that. So. And then on the back here is the final assembly with the decal placement and everything. Hopefully you guys can see that. And again, they give you like decal notes and the uh, painting notes and all that stuff. Little tips here and there, I guess you can call it. And then they, um, on the bottom here, they have their other kits that are out um, for Legends of the Quarter Mile, uh, Tommy Grove Mustang, uh, Candies and Hughes Barracuda, and the um, Carl Casper's uh, American Dragster. I would love to get that Barracuda funny car. That would be pretty cool.
Okay, starting off with the decals here, they are protected by this wax, um, this yellow wax paper which is taped at the top here, I guess to make sure it stays on there. And then um, you have your decals here which are very, very nicely um, printed, by the way. And then you got your rear panel, you got your two front panels, whatever your choice is. You have a lot of um, sponsored decals as well. So... And if you have any trouble putting on decals, my best tip to give you guys is uh, Microsoft, which is, works really well. I haven't tried it yet, but uh, I'm hoping to get some for myself and try it out. So and you got pinstriping decals are like kind of like pinstriping, but they're stripes. So really cool. And then on top of that, you get instructions on how to apply these decals, which is pretty simple and straightforward. So there you go. And then next is your um, clear parts, which um, you have your two front windshields, I guess. You got your side windows, and you got your rear window right here, very nicely uh, molded. There's not, I don't see a lot of, I don't see any flash on this actually, and they are pretty clean. There's no scratches. There's no nothing on there. Very clean. So, put that out. And then here's the body, which is very thick. Again, thick for my taste. And you got this freaking print on the bottom. Like, why would you do that? And you got a lot of injector pin marks that you have to clean up, including here, because all that will be seen. And you've got um, some mold, uh, mold lines you got to get rid of. I mean, a lot of work needs to be done to clean his body up. Got it around the edges. Um, right in there by the where the bumper is and stuff like that. Um, you got it up in here. So a lot of mold lines, but overall it is molded perfectly, but it would have been better if it didn't have the mold lines and injector pin marks. So, and if anybody can tell me in the comments below what year this is, that'll be great. But I, I'm, I'm loving it, so it's pretty cool. Now as far as the tires go, um, pretty disappointed. Okay, front tires look good and all, you know, front tires are, front tires, you got your skinnies here. These are really nicely printed, and I'm very glad that Round 2 is not afraid to um, print their, you know, put writing on the tires and detail, unlike Rebel, that leaves it, you know, just flat, you know what I mean? So, but there it is, very nice. Not much of a mold seam, just got to remove that little doodad there. But overall, they're pretty nice. Here's the disappointing is your blower belt. It looks like somebody had lunch with it and just spit it out and dried it up and put it in your bag. And I'm missing a little part to it, so... Yep, that was your, that's the blower belt, so that's garbage. And then here I thought it was two extra front tires, and then I was looking at this, and then I turned it around. These are your tire inserts. So, not sure how to glue those on there, or how it's going to work out, but you've got this nasty mold uh, seam line here. Got to remove this. The, pad, the, the print is fine, looks pretty good, but just a lot of flash and stuff. Thankfully, it's not on the top here, but getting that, getting this to sit flush without having any, you know, any issues is, is going to be a challenge. On this tree, you get your um, your panels, which are your front and rear um, door panels, and then you get your like your firewall kind of deal, and a panel for the front, and then another little panel here. But again, um, I don't know if some of this is going to be seen, but you're going to need to clean off. A lot of these um, mold lines and stuff like that, or uh, injector pin marks, excuse me. As you can see, there's a lot of it to clean off. 
There's some flash here and there. Uh, very minimal detail, actually none, except for here, very minimal here. But, I mean, they're pretty nice, just need to clean them up. It's got some grease, I guess, from the um, from the molds, so you're going to have to clean all that up, but it shouldn't be hard to do. And here's one side of your frame, um, your chassis frame for your car. Very nice, um, just got to do some cleanup after you remove it here. But overall, they don't see any much problems with it. Not that I can tell right off the bat, but it looks pretty cool. Same with this one here, the other side here. Um, so it's got a little minimal detail to it as well, but very nice. And then here's your other, um, uh, the last tree, which has got your other panels, which you're going to have to do a lot of cleaning, a lot of sanding, and being careful not to get rid of some of these tabs. Here's your other panel. I think this is the back, and this is the one that keeps your body lifted and stuff, the hinge. Uh, very little flash on this. This other other panel is you're going to have to clean up because you will be seeing it. But overall, I mean, it's pretty nice. Um, then on the other tree, you have this one here, which has got your interior tub. You've got your racing seat and your racing harness. And you have another, I think this is another panel piece, I could be wrong. Here's your cross member pieces here. This one is to mount your uh, fuel tanks on there. This is your rear hubs. Here's another uh, cross members here. Okay, this one, your drive shaft goes in the transmission. Needs some cleaning up, some pin marks, injector pin marks, just like that rear panel. So overall, I mean, it's pretty cool. Very nice. Um, again, you just need to do a little minor cleanup. And stuff like that so but it should overall should overall come together really well and then on this tree you have your roll cage um, stuff more uh, roll cage here your rear axle which is two halves you got your parachute fire extinguisher drive shaft these are for your headers your brakes for the rear and then you've got your hubs for the front and then you got your other hubs here uh, these are for the rear as well. These are for the brakes. Those are like the rotors or something that they call it. So um, overall nicely molded, nice little detail to it. Could be a little bit more, but overall it's pretty nice. You can, you know, add your own stuff to it, of course. But there you go. But there's some cleanup here and there to be done. Ejector pin marks, flash, and all that stuff. But Here is the last of the uh, white molded parts. This one has your engine and your transmission halves, which are nicely detailed. I don't see a lot of flash on them. But, you know, it could be different when you put it together. So, oil pan starter, your two engine mounts. I think this one is the uh, rear and this one's the front. Okay. And, of course, you got to get rid of all those injector pin marks in the back. Overall, I don't see much anything else. Here's the um, transmission pan. Your manifold here. Your magneto, the top part of your magneto. This is your heads. This is your um, headers, which are really nice. They got the little indent for the exhaust instead of just like a like it's flat sided, so you can drill those out if you wanted to. You got the top of your magneto right here, and you've got your dual um, oil filters. So very nice, not a lot of flash, just very minimal cleanup after you remove it from the tree. Now the chrome. Here's the first part of the chrome tree. You have your radius rods. You have your um, you have I think. These two go on to the um, heads, or the valve covers, and these go to your um, front wheels. They're like they're like the axle nubs or something. I'm not sure what, but it is what it is. And there's your blower, steering wheel, your pedal assembly, your pitman arm, your dual um, fuel tank. There's your separate pulleys. This is your oil um, filter center unit, steering column. This is the um, fuel pump system. This is another um, of your blower belt assembly. This is your idler pulley. This is a blower hat, which I wish wasn't mounted on the tree like this. I mean, it's pretty nice. It's not in two pieces. You know, it's a one-piece deal, but it is what it is. And then here you, here's your steering arm. I don't know what these two are. Uh, more steering stuff here. Uh, your shifters right here. Valve cover. Your hill, hillborn injection pieces here. And this is your timing belt cover. So there you go. Uh, very nicely chromed, by the way. Very nicely chromed. 
And uh, last but not least, this one here has your rear um, traction bar springs and everything all molded. You've got your um, tack here and you've got your um, instrument gauges here. Uh, more parts for the blower. This is the back and the front of it. So if you guys can see that. There's your front um, axle bar with molded in springs. Um, and then there's your choice of wheels and also you get these um, these, uh, what is it, rings, uh, trim rings for your rims. So you get different choices of rims. Go with Halibrand and, and this, or you go with this and that, or or whatever, you know, whatever your choice is. So you got this one too. So, again, very nicely molded. Very minimal cleanup, except for, you know, when you remove it from the tree, of course. But um, I just wish the springs were, could be, um, you know, not molded on. They do need some cleanup and all, but there you go. Well, that concludes the um, the model kit review. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Um, on the comments below, let me know what you guys think about it. What you guys feel about this kit? Um, like I said, I you know on the scale of one through ten, I give it an even six. As you saw, some of the problems and stuff that that you're gonna have to deal with in this model kit. But overall, it should be a pretty cool build. It should be pretty fun and all. I mean, that's what this hobby is about, you know, having fun with it and everything like that. So not really taking it too serious. It's just plastic, you know, but it's good to have, you know, a model kit review so you know what you're getting yourself into and you're spending your money, you know, um, on a good kit. So, and overall, this is worth the money. You know, if you, if you can get one, that'd be nice. But like I said, I want the Barracuda one to go with this. Uh, just that way I have two of them, you know. And... Even if it has problems, you know, building it, you know, I could figure it out, you know, work it out. So when I get the next one, I'll know what to look look forward to, you know, and that sort of thing. So, so anyways, you guys, um, that's about it for me on my end. So, um, again, hopefully you guys enjoyed. And um, keep your heads up no matter what through all the struggles. Keep hope, keep faith, keep up the great work, keep on building those models, keep up the great projects, keep on doing what you're doing, keep doing it for the love of the hobby, the love of the art, and uh, keep it positive. You know, lead, don't bring your egos and your beef to the workbench because that destroys hobbies. Just build and have fun. <clears throat> don't take your plastic too serious. Okay? And it doesn't matter, you know, what level the person is on. It doesn't matter how the other person builds. Just support them that they enjoy this hobby. That's all that matters. So keep that in mind. And if people need tips or some kind of a little help on, on a subject, Take the time out of your busy schedule and help them out. So, that's it, you guys. So, until the next video, it's your boys, Chaz Custom. Custom Model Cars. I'm signing out. Peace.